we are down at the bottom at Howie E. Used to be a little house there and a garage right over there. And way off in the distance is Holy Hill, which you probably can't see. And the address plate. Hey, come on. Hey. So here's the driveway. Started out just going through a field. That's all that was here. A few apple trees and they dumped some real rough rocks here for us to drive on and finally put some gravel in after that. It was just the coolest driveway though until winter came and we had to start shoveling it. Of course when I was living here, the years here, even after that, a lot of times I'd shovel it by hand the whole thing. And mom and dad would get out here and they'd shovel it too when I wasn't here. But it's a long, long driveway. We're running out of power. And Dad planted these trees along here. One of these is a tulip tree that he got from Abraham Lincoln's house. He was so proud that it lasted when he brought it back and it's been a beautiful tree. And of course with Mary and Dennis living here, Mary's put pumpkins by the trees and kept the place decorated and fit all these years. That was all field. Way down at the bottom, Dad and I planted some of Grandpa's old grapes. Dad had that dug out right down in there. He thought it was going to fill in to be a pond. We all did. But uh, come to find out, it was big boulders of granite underneath the whole thing. And so it drained instantly. Never did get water in it. But we sure did come flying through there with the toboggan and the sleds. Yeah, the trees have filled in here. After the apple trees, not much left of those original apple trees. A few of them left. And the house on the hill, back in the woods. I'm just about out of power here on this battery too. But the land went back 30 acres and we made hay back there. I still have Dad's old 1938 Alice Chalmers tractor. Now this old tree here I wrote a poem about because Dean and I would sit under there for a long time in the afternoons and we'd just stare out over the open hills, which were open then, and we'd eat apples together. And that was the name of my poem. We ate apples together. So here we are up at the top of the hill again. This tree here, Black Walnut Dead, I think, planted that. It's been a pretty tree. And there used to be a pine tree right there where that stump is. That when it was about three feet high or four feet high, the sheep got loose and the old ram chewed all the branches on it. It survived and it got so high that they had to cut it down eventually. It was hitting the roof. And that tree was the climbing tree for the kids all those years. So here we are. And it was a lot of good years here since 1965. Yes. <laughs>